They say the only thing worse than change is no change. And I pretty much agree. I was hanging out the other day. I did a little doot doot doot. I had a nice buzz going and I, I started thinking. You know, our kids really have no idea what it was like for people my age when we were growing up. My generation is like the last generation that lived like kids did back in the 50s and 40s and probably 30s. Maybe even the 20s too. Like kids born after 1980, I guess. You know, it's, it's really unbelievable when you think about how life was for us. Meaning all of us in my generation. Look how things have changed in the last 40 years. We had black and white TVs when I was a kid. Remember them? And you actually had to get up to change the channel. Remember when the plastic knobs would break and you had to use the pliers to turn that little metal rod to either change the channel or turn the TV on or off or, or work the volume? Unreal. Then color TV became available in the 60s at some point. When I would hear the announcers say, coming up, bewitched in living color, I, I would get a boner. Living color? get a boner. I was so excited. Wow. And at night, at a certain point, like 1 a.m. or something like that, even the TV would go to bed. They would end the broadcast day and an announcer would actually say, this concludes our broadcast day. And then they would show the flag, play the national anthem, and then put up a, a test pattern until the morning. Man, you know, that wasn't really that long ago. Now, Kids have 50 billion channels and 50 billion other video outlets where you can watch anything ever produced on demand. Remember when our parents had cars that had no air conditioning and they had roll-up windows and only an AM radio? Jeez, our phones were mounted on the wall and you can actually physically dial the number. They were called rotary phones, and the phone numbers had words to the first two numbers, like Kilmer 57683 was KI57683. We have fucking names in the phone numbers. Now you can tell your car to call your home and sit there and talk without a headset or anything. Remember PF Flyers? They made you run faster and jump higher. That was it. Made you run faster and jump higher. I'm not lying. Watch. Brought to you by PF Flyers with a magic wedge that helps you run your fastest and jump your highest. PF Flyers by BF Goodrich. Now, try to figure out what sneakers you need as I go into graduate school between the brands of sneakers and the things you need sneakers for. Walking, running, cross training, working out, blah, 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 blah. Kids today. They have no idea how few choices we had to deal with back then, but we had the magic wedge, yeah. Try to play sports with some canvas and rubber on your foot. Our kids today have zero, zero idea what the hell it was like to live back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Our big inventions in the 60s was liquid paper, bubble wrap, sharpies, lava lamps, and easy bake ovens. You haven't really lived until you baked a cake with a single light bulb. Now, kids can learn to drive a car that parks itself. You know, they say the only thing worse than change is no change. And I pretty much agree. And I think the problem with modern technology and all the changes that have happened over the last 30 or 40 years isn't about the technology change. It's the people. We're creating technology that's too advanced for a lot of people. One genius figures something out and, and then a large part of the population really isn't equipped to handle the advance. It, it, it's like the, the fucking atom bomb. Some genius scientist in, created it. Then they put it in the hands of regular momos and there you go. The capability for stupid people and power to blow up the earth. Beautiful. Anywho... Change is good, but sometimes I wish it was the good old days again. You know, now, look, I'm not saying anything other than that I miss the simplicity. Believe me, I get it. There has always been evil in this world, and there have always been horror for different groups of people in this world. I'm not making this a, a social or political commentary, so please don't even go there. But, but for me, I just miss the simple things that affected my life directly. 
the kids today are getting bombarded with so much shit and they, they have so many excuses for not going outside. I, I'm worried they are losing the interaction with other humans in the same way. I, I had it. That's all I'm really saying. So there you go. Look, I can give you the old saying, the more things change, the more they stay the same. But I don't think that actually applies anymore. I think we're too far down the technology rabbit hole, if you will. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me Google it. <laughs>